DD4L stole it season two. I'm not I'm sorry. Bring it season two season finale. Let's go and get into it. If y'all caught that shade, let's go and get into it. Let me take the goddamn headphones off. Let me go and get into this season finale of Bring It. I got a lot of shit I want to cover, and I'm gonna get to that part about shit being stolen because this shit is getting really unnecessary and foolish. Let's go and start it. Um Kayla. Kayla, um, so, not Kayla, so Tina and, what's the girl name, Selena, get into it because Kayla has not been to any college tours, and, you know, Selena was like, you know, Sanjay has been to a couple of college tours, which I hope she has, because if she haven't, and you just said that Selena be shady, I'm gonna roast your ass too, but for Kayla to be, you know, she's 11th grade, she's going to 12th grade, she hasn't, been, and like, this is a summer and she hasn't been on college tours. I mean, I hope she, hopefully she's been to Jackson State campus and stuff and done under the twirl. I mean, um, Tina, there was no excuse for that. You were just, I mean, you were pressed and them, and them bullets touched your damn spirit. Because Selena was not, she was just saying, you know, you need to come on, step it up. You need to get it. Just, you know, friend to friend, just girl, you need to get your shit together. And Tina, you just got all your fitness. And next thing you know, you start talking about, I had baby at 14, you crying and shit. And I'm like, girl, why are you upset? I mean, Selena was just telling you the damn trip, the, the truth. There's no reason for your child to be a senior and has not been to any schools. And you talking all this shit and she got this much talent and doing this. But you ain't took her on no college tours. I mean, girl, this shit right here going to end eventually. And Lifetime will move on. I don't know why y'all be thinking these companies folks love y'all, baby. They are here to get a coin and move on about their goddamn business. So your daughter needs to be somewhere at college trying to get a um a scholarship and some other shit. She need to be doing her financial aid or something. You need to be getting it together, Tina. That was no excuse for that. And, and yo, you can tell you were pressed. And, you know, Tina went and apologized to Selena and all that type of shit. But not after she got through moving them goddamn couches and shit, child. Um, what's the name of moving them damn couches like she... I mean, she was just so pissed off and going off like... She was moving them damn couches like she was damn... um. Two, two, two men in the damn truck. Tina, sit your ass down. Okay, them butlers touching the green. And the bullets had ricocheted off of Tina's ass and knocked Ridney damn edges off. Ridney, girl, I need you to get a um, rat tail comb and do something back up, baby. Your, your edges were laid out, falling out, dead, dry, um, dehydrated, uncompensated. I'm just, it's just so much. Your damn edge was giving me great depression tease, honey. And it was just, I don't know. It, I, it was just terrible. Your edge just, I'm tired of talking about them. Um, did y'all see him go it back? Uh, what else was going on with y'all? But Selena told Tina to do the fat girl shuffle or what the fuck she doing out there. I had to rewind that shit about a couple of times. Selena said, you better go do that damn fat girl shuffle. <laughs> I ain't never had no shit like that for a good one, uh, Selena. That's my girl. Um, what else is going on? And we, we get to the part, Diana going off, and they had practice, and they going off, and Diana just turned the hell up for the damn, she just turned the hell up for the show. She just turned the hell up, it's the season, it's the season finale, she just turned all the way up, she just wanted, she just, she just turned up a little bit, she was going, I, I don't know, maybe the, maybe they need to, maybe the divas all about, need to beat y'all ass, maybe they need to beat y'all ass. I don't give it. I was like, Diana, girl, it was not that serious. But Diana was turned up. Apparently, she knew it was the season for now, so she gonna get her shit in. She gonna make sure they they practice and they got it right and da 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 da. And she was just on the ass. I think it was just a little too much, too too dramatic for me. But you know, it's okay. Um, the women arguing and fighting and shit. I think it was a little too turned up. Um, but it was funny to watch. It gave. It was just interesting to see because you. Would, but you can tell that she was a little fake. But I can tell that Tina was kind of pressed because she started crying a little bit. But you never know, because this is lifetime child. They might have threw some Aquafina on Tina eyes and made her crackers. This none of this shit is real. Trust me and believe. Trust and believe. What else was going on? Um, so we get to where I don't think they were. It was in Jackson. We get to look the the thing, and um, I like the how I like how Kayla prayed for the team. I like that. I rather for us to see prayer led by the actual captain. I, I like it. it was just. I felt it came from a really good place. I love Kayla is a really, really good leader. She is an excellent leader when it comes to um, for the squad and stuff. And I, and I just think it's going to be kind of hard to replace her. And, and you know, that's why we kind of in a deadlock with Cameron and Tamia because I'm just like, Kayla was that girl. She was just that girl. She was just, she she spoke with authority, as you can tell. And, you know, 
Y'all know what I said. No, no shade, but you know, there's something about a dark skinned woman, a powerful dark skinned woman. She just don't hold back, and I just love it. Um, I just love it. And Kayla's just, she's just that girl. I love it so much. Um, so we get the child, the divas of all of God have came back, honey. And um, they were doing a pretty, they were doing pretty good. They were doing pretty good. They look like they didn't. They done stepped it up. They done, they done stepped their cookies up. They done brought some extra dressing. Okay, they had more people on the team. Uh, more people on the team or whatever. And the dance moves they were doing looked good. These diva, uh, Divas of Olive Garden, your, um, the coach, you did a phenomenal job kicking your big ass legs up and all that kind of doing the splits and stuff. You were on point. Um, you were you were on point. It, it like I, you were doing it. I, I wasn't surprised. I, I was surprised because I didn't think you knew how to dance for real, but you were doing it. Um, the other coaches, I couldn't think of that because they did it. so. The dazzling divas, the dazzling. I'm so tired of the divas and divas. Can we come up with some better names than this shit? I'm so sick of the D's. I'm about to give y'all the D if y'all don't stop. Um, a D minus, okay, like Miss Ronald Madison, her YouTube channel. But um, I, I'm just sick of the D's and. The other coaches did good. I can't the dazzling divas. They the coach she did pretty good. I can't think of the male. He was throwing some counts. He was doing pretty good. But we didn't see Quincy. And I want to. I want to know why Quincy didn't get his ass up and throwing counts. Did she not take her Pepto Bismol? Was her stomach gonna be hurt? I mean, what's Quincy? We want to know. The people want to know why your ass wasn't up there. You talk all this shit, and you had on your reading glasses and you had on your damn Monopoly outfit, but you didn't throw no counts. I don't know if it's just raw footage. Maybe we didn't get it. Maybe we didn't have enough time. Maybe we didn't have enough space to put that on there. I want to see it. Um, I'm gonna. Did we get Diana? She bring her ass out there. Diana, I, I, I felt like I don't know if anybody else used props. Um, I seen what's the name? Of, I think that was the uh, Olive Branch coach. They she took off an outfit and gave another one. Diana came out some goddamn push damn thing. She came out. And I thought I was watching Tamar's video, Hot Sugar. She came out with a lit box talking about some dolls. And she get out. Diana, I hated that black eyeshadow. I hated it. Um, I thought your moves were awesome. You did really, really good. But your face, and Selena, you lied, girl. You lied. I had to call your ass out. Diana was ser serving us face, but it was not no, no face that I wanted to put on my goddamn plate. It was a, it was the kind of face that I wanted to put on my plate and throw it in the trash. Because Diana... <laughs> I thought she was about to bite my goddamn mouth. I was like, okay, girl, let me turn you down or something. She was, I mean, she was just, them faces were just ugly as hell. I was like, damn, goddamn, no wonder your ass didn't make it with Jackson State. Because <laughs> she just, them faces were just ugly as hell. But Diana was moving and grooving. She was doing that. But I don't feel like it was just, it wasn't, it was nothing. Oh, my God, she didn't slay. For um, Divas of Olive Garden, for, her to, for their coach to be that size, she was moving, and I felt it. Diana, I just didn't feel it from you. And that's no shade. I'm um, not saying you can dance, but I, I think I've seen a little bit better. Speaking of better, we get to the, um, she just looked like a twerking-ass banana. You know how the banana just, just like that? That's what she looked like. Oh, I, I didn't, I wasn't here for it. Um, what else was going on? What else was going on? I, I just really couldn't tell if Diana was really just serving it because the music it's not the music that she was dancing to, so I don't know if she was hitting that beat and she was feeling the rhythm. I couldn't tell because she wasn't dancing with the actual music. We had this old washed ass bullshit. So that was that. Um, what else was going on? To, to the stolen. This the name of this show should be Stolen. Okay, starring DD Four L. No shade, dancing dolls. But I have and, and Tracy keeps coming with receipts on y'all ass. She keeps coming with receipts on y'all ass on her Instagram. I'm going to put it up. Um, um, I'm, I'm going to put it up on, um, on the video below. Follow her, Tracy, on Instagram. The same moves that I saw, bring, I mean, Dancing Dolls do. I saw Tracy do on the episode that they were on. That stuff when they were doing this, they were throwing their they hair and they were like, like on the ground. Tracy put up a video of them doing that. Like, Diana, I don't know if you're responsible for this. I don't know if you're, if you, because I really don't think your ass is over the dance move. I just think you just be on the TV when it's time to record. I don't really think you do shit. I think you have other people do it and you just record it. And maybe I don't know. I want to know. I want to know why in the hell I'm just now seeing, and 
Trace is steady hitting y'all ass with receipts. And she's not throwing no shade. She's not. She's just saying, like, we did this first, so what's going on? And I would be pissed the hell off if I'm sitting up here. That would be like me coming up with jokes and saying shit, and then I see somebody else that's on TV using my shit. The same shit that Tamar does. I don't like that. And, and, and I don't. And I don't give a fuck about being no goddamn dancing doll fucking stand or none of that shit. It's just right is right and wrong is wrong. Y'all need to come up with y'all own shit. Y'all giving me bringing own teas. Are y'all the damn white cheerleading team that was still in the black folks shit and dancing and pretending like it was y'all and adding shit to it? Come up with y'all own damn stands. It don't make no damn sense. Every time y'all come on these, I see the damn show, I get on Instagram and, and I seen Tracy team done it before. The same shit. And then Tracy even hit us with a high school fucking performance that these girls performed in. Doing the same shit. I'm just not understanding. Diana, get it together. Get it together. D dance and dance. Get it the fuck together. With this, these stolen ass goddamn routines. And y'all keep getting on this goddamn TV. I, I, I'm going to have to read y'all. I wish I could go snatch the goddamn black meat neck on. Because now I'm getting pressed. And my nose is starting to open up. But y'all steady doing these. Same, y'all get on here and y'all act like y'all just the best of the best. Girl, y'all are not slaying like that. Y'all are not the damn best team. I have seen boys dance better than this goddamn dance of dogs. And that's no shade. Y'all doing good. I love a dance. But y'all act like y'all just killing the girl. Y'all didn't remain humble. I heard y'all ass got ate up so bad in Atlanta that y'all want to take no goddamn pictures. That's the T. I can't either confirm or deny, but you know, it is what it is. So. The dancing dogs did that shit that went against dance, dancing dogs or whatever. The girl with um, Divas of Olive Garden was mad because she wanted to perform and she wanted to go toe to toe with them. And Diana wanted to go toe to toe because they lost last season or beginning of the season, whatever the fuck, because they got this shit so construed. Because they talking about season two, but they say that this is season two. I'm need lifetime to get it together, period. So the dancing dogs end up winning. Um, they look like, and hey, pay attention when y'all watch these shows. Pay attention to how Diana was delayed because all this shit was orchestrated. All this shit is orchestrated. We're only going to see the shows. We're only going to see the stuff recorded when they win. And then they do the shit so goddamn late. Peep how when Diana came, Diana was the last person. Dancing dolls have an advantage when they go to perform. I wouldn't even invite their asses, to be honest, unless I was really wanting some money. But you um I just it, it just it kind of it just makes me believe that all this shit is slick orchestrated. So Diana was the last last coach to perform, and then they were the last girls to come. It's just like it's just I feel like it's all just made the fuck up. It's like is it? It's just I feel like it's all made up. And um, it, peep towards the end of the night when they was passing from out the woods and who won? Nobody was even else. Nobody was even in the damn gymnasium no more. Nobody was even there. So you know it is what it is. But um, the child see that part with the dancing and dolls or whoever they were dancing. And child divas of Olive Garden coach was throwing shade. She said they wasn't seen, and it was some girl. She was. She didn't know what the hell was going on. That was funny as hell. I died laughing. But um, yeah, whatever. It's just I just want the dancing dogs to come up with some better stances. I want them to stop stealing folks' shit because I think it's absolutely funny that they're sitting here using these stands and then some. I see someone on Instagram already using them. I I just don't either. Diana, you need to put up some videos and showing that we've been had this for some. But I need to see the receipts because it's not looking good for your ass. Other than that, um. I'm on to see what the reunion gonna bring. Um, I'm interested. Hopefully, the girls that got some better makeup and went to left Sephora and actually went to Macy's or Dillard's or Belk and actually got some real makeup. Some of them. Um, Selena, I love you. I love all the people. I love all everybody. I think this this bringing is interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about season two. Hopefully, it's just as good, but we'll see. Other than that, follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ1232. And follow Tracy. I will have her Instagram up so y'all can check it out. But, and don't be going on her um, Instagram trying to be shady and starting no shit. Just look at the video and judge for yourself. That's all I got. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all's support. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. Bye.